Hello once again, audience. Uh, yes, I am wearing the same shirt today. So, basically, I finished that timber stand improvement video, and then I walked back inside, and they're like, Oh, hey, I, I think I know where one is at. Um, so, here it is. This is the Biltmore stick. And I'll twirl it. Okay, there you go. So, this is the... Actually, this is the scale stick and the Biltmore stick. Uh, we'll be using the Biltmore stick side. So, this is a pretty nifty uh, yard stick, for lack of a better term. Um, it allows you to not only measure the diameter breast height of a tree, but also go and measure out the, um, the height of the tree. And then, on top of that, it's got a little formula sheet like already on the Biltmore stick so that you can find out the number of board foot in the tree. So uh, here's, where, here's how we're going to start this off. We're going to start this off looking at a tree like this, right? Tiny tree, okay? Uh, how you use the Biltmore stick is you line that up, uh, line it up for you audience, you line the one end up of the Biltmore stick to the edge of the bark so that like visually you're just staring at it visually it's the edge of that Biltmore stick is lined up with your eyes uh, to the edge of that bark and then you go over to the other side and you take your measurement see how that works audience uh, you line up this end at, with the edge of the bark and then whenever it goes to is uh, the diameter rest out of the tree now you'll notice when you actually get your hands on one that it, uh, it kind of jumps. The very first mark, uh, four inches, is like this wide, six inches, seven inches, and like it goes down because as you're looking, like it's, it's not linear, it's scalar, right? Because as you're looking, it distorts your, your vision because you start with an angle here and you like, if you go to here, Marks are smaller, but if you go way out here, it distorts your vision. Uh, it distorts your view on the tree. So, uh, not the Biltmore stick, but you'll, you'll see, you'll see. Uh, so, here's a shag bar hickory. See that shagginess? Uh, you don't need to know the specific hickory. You just need to know it's a hickory for the national contest. But uh, in the national contest, if you're doing timber cruising... You, the one thing you have to know is, is it t 10 inches or more? If it is 10 inches or more, there's value in the tree, unless it breaks off at like six foot. Uh, but here's how you use it. So you see that audience right there? You see how that lines up with the very edge of that tree? Now we're going to look, oops, that's a scale stick. Built more stick time. Oh. By the way, measure at four and a half feet, which is just a little bit below the shoulder height for me. Uh, you can find out what that is on your own, but you line that up with the very edge of the tree, and then you line it up with the other edge, and this tree is an 18-inch diameter shag bark hickory. So you know it's 18 inches in diameter. Now you need to find the height of the tree. Now to do this, put your feet up against the tree, all right, and walk 50 feet. Okay? Oh, by the way, when you're doing this, when you're doing this, uh, what you have to do, it has to be 25 inches from your face. Right? Which, conveniently enough, is the distance of the Biltmore stick. So, uh, for me, I know it's basically my arm's length. That's why you didn't see me do it the first time, but it's actually just a little bit shorter. Uh, for you guys, or for you gals out there in Idaho, uh, your arm's probably just a little bit shorter than mine. It's probably just the full length of your arm. Uh, so now that we know it's an 89-inch diameter tree, we've got to walk 50 paces that way, or not 50, 50 feet that way, which for my stride just so happens to be 22 paces. Now when we do this, be sure not to walk like that way, downhill. Be sure not to go downhill. If you can, go sideways from the tree or go uphill. Never walk downhill, okay? So for me, 
I've got 21 paces away from this tree at a uh, like a linear or uphill. Which way should I go? I'm going this way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. Oh, what? I went to 25. 22, 4, 22, 23, 22. Why are numbers confusing today? 21. Okay. So, if you can see off in the distance there, That's our shag bark hickory. It looks a long way on film, but it's really a stone's throw. So there's our stag bark hickory on the edge of that concrete path uh, with the small hackberry in front of it. You see that small one? Hold up. Annie Oakley. Let's do this. Over there. Yeah, that one. That one. Yeah, you see it? Okay. Now, I should have showed you this earlier, uh, but it goes way up in the canopy before it breaks. So we're going to do the same thing. Hold it 25 inches away from our face. Uh, now we're going to hold it vertically, right? So on the side of the Biltmore stick, this side, right? Okay. Yeah. Okay. So this side is our diameter breast height. And this side is the, how many logs there are in the tree, right? Uh, we want to know down to the half log. So one log is 16 feet. A half log is eight feet. Now, when you get your height, always, always round down. If it's close, sort of, I mean, unless it's definitely for sure two logs, don't go with two logs, right? Go with one and a half, okay? You get that idea, audience? I think you got it. You're good enough. All right, so let's hold that up to the tree. Right, so with my eye, it is... There, I'll line it up for you, audience. Okay? So, there it is. Right on that tree. We want to go about a foot above the ground. Okay? For that stump height. And then we want to measure the height of the tree. So I'm going to measure this real quick. You have a lot of time in contest. Okay, two logs. That sounds about right to me. It looks like there's about 32 feet in that tree. Um, I am looking past its defects. I'll show you real quick, audience. So here's the shag bark hickory up close, right there in the background. Uh, you can see up behind me, uh, right there, there's a knot. See it right there? And then there's another one. And then there's one further up. There, whoop, near, near, right up there, but then above it right there, there's a break there, okay? So, for me, I ignored the uh, knots there because I think they're small enough, uh, in my opinion, to ignore them. After inspecting the tree on this side, it looks good. Um, there's not many small branches off of it until that split. So that split was my stopping point. Okay, so we saw that that tree had an 18 inch diameter breast height and a two, uh, two logs of height, right? So on the Biltmore stick, there's right here a little scale, okay? Now, for me, it, record, it looks like it records backwards, but apparently it flips it if you watched yesterday's video. Yeah, that was embarrassing. Okay, so there's 12, there's 14, there's 16, there's 18, okay? There it is, 18. So we go down four notches, right? Because over here, it tells us uh, half log one, half first log, half second half log. Yeah, so the fourth notch is the two logs in height. So over here at 18, uh, we can see that at two logs with an 18 inch diameter breast height, there are 20, 240 uh, board foot of height in that tree. Okay, so 18 inch diameter rest height, you'll need this for your recording, a uh, two logs of height, 
two 16-foot logs, and 240 board foot in the shag bar kicker. So that's how you use the Biltmore stick. Um, I'll stop and use it one more time on this Kentucky coffee tree. It's fancy how they can identify stuff for you. I mean, wow. Yep, Kentucky coffee tree. <laughs> if you can see that, uh, actually, you probably can't see the label, but it's labeled. Burr oak woods, Pfft, easy stuff. So we're going to go ahead and do this again. We'll find the diameter breast height. Uh, for this tree, it is 14 inches. Okay, 14 inches, that's merchable. Uh, it maintains that diameter all the way up the tree until you can see that split there, right? See that, f not the top, not that split, like, okay, not that split right there, but that one. See that log coming off? That's the first major defect, right? It's not the split, but that's the first major de defect. That's where we're going to stop our height record. Um, just telling you right now, I got pretty good at estimating uh, before I did the walk-off um, audience. I'm pretty good at this. Uh, there's two logs of height in that tree, so let's come over here to our nifty, uh, our nifty thingamajig on the stick. Yep, I just said that. Okay, at 14 inches diameter, two, um, two logs of height. There are 140 board foot in the tree. Okay, so, I mean, it's real simple. You just line the edges up with the tree, measure the uh, diameter, diameter breast height. Um, you walk 50, 50 feet away. You go vertical with the thing. You measure the, uh, measure the amount of logs in it, and you're good. So, I hope you guys have a wonderful day, week, month, time at National Convention, because I know you two, you four uh, from Idaho, are going to succeed because I've given you the key to your potential, the Biltmore stick. All right, have a nice day. Outro of darkness, then redness, then whiteness. Whew. Murderously hot here. See ya.